Hi everyone, how are you going? It's Marlon Marisha here and uh, I want to talk to you today about marketing machines. How many marketing machines do you have working in your business? Uh, if you're a web designer, how many marketing, marketing machines do you have that are generating leads for you every single day? And uh, if you have one, then you're probably in trouble. <laughs> you need two, three, four, five, six, you know, up to 10 of these marketing machines and that's how you scale your business. So let me tell you a little bit about a marketing machine. And so what is a marketing machine? Well, a marketing machine is kind of like a marketing strategy, uh, but the first thing is it should be process driven, okay? So process driven. This means that to execute the um, ma machine, it's a process that someone follows, right? It's a documented process. And that documented process allows you to automate the process. And so then it becomes automatic. Once you document the strategy to generate leads, you then can turn it into something that's automatic. And when it's automatic, it can also be repeatable. This is a marketing machine, right? Do you have one in your business? And the final thing is it's plug and play. So basically you plug in a person into that marketing machine and they can follow the processes, automate the process, make it repeatable, and now you have a marketing machine that works and then you can scale that out and do one, two, three, four, or five marketing machines. So I can see you're probably saying to yourself, so what is a marketing machine? Give us an example, Marlon. Well, let me give you a few examples of marketing machines that you need to build in your business to scale your business. So let's flick over and let's talk about the first type. The first type of marketing machine you need to create is a content marketing machine, okay? And that's this is kind of what I'm doing right here, right now. I'm recording a video. I'm going live on Facebook on my group in my Facebook page for my business and my personal Facebook page. Uh, and that's going live, it's going out there right now. Uh, but then I take that video and I convert it into a YouTube video that I put on YouTube. I then transcribe that video um, and then I turn it into a blog post. It goes on my blog with the YouTube video embedded into it. Uh, I then uh, convert that video and the transcription into an email that I send as an email newsletter twice a week to my database. And I then post the long form video to LinkedIn. And so all my LinkedIn connections get to see that video. I then post it on Instagram and Twitter, short versions, only one minute versions. So I take the long form video, I cut it down into short form, short form videos, and then I post those out to LinkedIn and Twitter as well, and on Facebook. Um, and then finally, I'll take the video. Uh, if I say something wise in the video or something, I think, wow, that's pretty good. I'll make a quote card and I'll write on the quote card the quote. I'll put Marlon and I'll post it out to all my social platforms. And so that's basically what I do with my content. Can you see it's a machine? You know, I create one video and then I push that out everywhere. And one of the things I'm going to start doing uh, is take the long form video, turn it into a podcast episode and then post that into my blog, which then gets pushed to Apple Google Play, Spotify, all the platforms, for about 20 platforms you can go to. So you can see how one piece of content just goes so far. It's called a, a content machine, okay? And it generates leads for me. So how do I use that content? Well, I use it in my follow-up sequences, my emails. I use it as a Facebook retargeting ad. That's something else I do with it. I take my best videos and I run an ad on Facebook to and all the people who are following me and uh, visit my website and open up forms and watch videos, get to see that video and also people who don't know me at all. Um, and so you can see that one piece of content really helps me become a big deal to a small amount of people. And I do a video pretty much every day. So every day this content's going out. Now, all I have to do is record the video, I drag it into a drive folder and then everything else is automated for me. So people are doing it, people in my team are doing it, but I'm not doing it. And so that's why it's a machine. It's, it's powered by people. Um, but at the end of the day, I do one thing, the most important, record the video like this right now. And then I take that, I put it in a drive folder and it gets disseminated across the internet. That's a content machine. What's another one? Another machine that I would 
recommend you as a web designer create is a cold email machine. So this is the ability to get email addresses of your prospects and then cold email them with an amazing, compelling offer. So we're not going to spam them. We're going to have a personalized message with their name, which talks about their business and a problem they have on their website and then offering them you to show them how to fix it. And if you can get as many email addresses that are verified with the right information so you can personalize it, that is an, a powerful way of growing your business, reaching out to, to people. Now, some of you may think, oh, Marlon, I don't want to send cold email. I don't like cold calling. Well, can I just say that the best businesses in the industry, a lot of SaaS companies, software as a service companies, use this very technique. Some of them are selling $500 a month services, $1,000 a month services, $3,000 a month services using cold email outreach to their prospects. They're targeting the right person in the right organization with a cold email and then following that with subsequent emails or uh, social media posts or a phone call. And so this is an engine that you can automate. You can, if we go back, you can create a process. You can automate the process. You can make it repeatable and you can plug and place someone into that process. And so now it's an automated marketing machine for you. So that's the second one, a cold email machine. The next one is LinkedIn. So LinkedIn um, is a powerful platform if you use it correctly. Okay. And so the whole idea with LinkedIn is if you can um, reach out to people in your prospect list, um, sorry, in your per your perfect prospect. So identify who your perfect prospect is. It might be financial planners um, who live in your state. On LinkedIn, you can do a search and find all of those people. You can then connect with them individually with a really well-crafted email um, connection request that actually compels them to link with you and connect with you. And then what you do is the video like today I'm creating, I post that to LinkedIn. And once they're a connection, they get to see that video. And if you're posting on a regular basis, they get to know you. Um, and then uh, when you reach out to them for maybe an appointment or just tell them about their website and tell them how you can improve the website, they're very open. For example, today, I reached out to someone cold on LinkedIn with a connection request a few days ago. It was very well crafted. Um, the lady connected with me and said, oh, Marlon, um, look, great connecting. I, I offered some um, resources to her. She said, great connecting, love to see the resources. So I said, look, here are the resources. I gave her a few links to the Facebook group and a video that, that's doing really well for me. It's really informative for my prospects. And she said to me, oh, I've already watched so many of your videos already on LinkedIn. And she said, I really like them. And so it's only been a few days since I connected with her. But what happened is when I connected, she checked me out and she saw all these videos in the feed and she watched a whole heap of them. You know, that's warming up people. That's a machine. It's a LinkedIn machine that is going out there and generating leads for me. Another one is a Facebook ads machine. So do you have a Facebook ads machine that generates appointments booked into your calendar? Well, you need that as well. You need to create a machine that doesn't just get you leads, but books in appointments. And I speak a lot about this, so I'm not going to go into detail, but that's a machine. So now you have a content machine, a cold email machine, a LinkedIn machine, a Facebook ads machine. You can probably stop there. Four is pretty good to start with, but there's more you can do. There's a Facebook group machine. And there's some great strategies of getting web design leads from Facebook groups, either public groups that you join and offer your help in and answer people's questions. And when they see that you're smart, a lot of them go and check your profile out. And if you have on your profile what you do, and it's very clear that you're a web designer, people will message you. That's one way of doing it. Another way is to have your own Facebook group where people join and you become the leader and you lead them and they know everything about you and you help them with their website and their marketing and a whole bunch of things. That's a machine. I have a Facebook group. I have a Facebook group machine and I have won clients through that group. That's another one that I have. Um, another one is SEO. Do you have an SEO machine? An SEO machine that brings leads to you for free. Now, most of you out there are probably like, oh, I could never compete with SEO. <laughs> I could never make that happen. But you don't have to compete. Don't compete. Use your content machine 
and plug that content machine into your SEO machine. You so the, the content you create, SEO is really about having the best content that's the most relevant that Google will bring up. And as a byproduct of having a content machine, you have blog posts that you're uh, publishing on a regular basis and you're embedding YouTube links into those blog posts and Google owns YouTube and Google. And so if your blog post has a YouTube video embedded into a great blog post, it will ra raise that up the search engine results because if you look now, if you search for a topic, all the YouTube videos come up first. And so there's some things you can do through your content machine to actually increase your SEO in the local area. So look at this, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, there are four more, right? Four more machines you can create. Do you need to do all of them? No, I would say I would concentrate on probably uh, the top four, okay? So these four here, make these happen and you will see your business explode. And so I wanna encourage you, think of marketing as a machine, as a series of machines that are, let's go back, they're process driven, they're automated, they're repeatable, and you plug in a person and you start playing, okay? So that's how you should look at it. And if you can have four of these machines, it will transform your business in a way that you have never known in the past. And the reason why you're probably struggling is because you don't have one machine, let alone two, three, or four. You don't have one that is a machine that's automated, that's process driven, and that's repeatable. And when you can create that in your business, your business will start to fly. So if you um, wanna know more about how to build these machines in your business, I have them in mind, uh, I'd love to have a chat with you. You can book in a 15 minute um, a scale session with me and I can talk to you about how you could apply some of these principles into your business. So around this video, there's an application form or a button you can click. You can book in a time uh, with me at your convenience. I'd love to chat. I'd love to show you how you can scale your business over the next 12 months. Speak to you soon.